96. Amber Johnson of Dearborn will be spending more time behind bars as a result of her absence last week. Johnson and her husband were asleep last year when their daughter wandered out of the house and fell into a neighbor's pool. Jason Colthorpe was in the courtroom today, and Jason, what was her excuse for not being there in the first place? Well, it certainly didn't hold any water with the judge, that's for sure, Kim. He was also pretty annoyed that she didn't turn herself in right away last Friday when he issued that arrest warrant. Instead, Dearborn police had to come knocking on her door to ensure that she would show up in court today. Explain to us why you were not here last Friday, which was your assigned sentence date. Um, I was trying to get all of the things that I needed in order to be in jail, you know, how I'm allowed to have the work release. Amber Johnson, this time present and in handcuffs, explaining that she was unsuccessfully trying to set up a new job for work release while in jail. Well, there'll be no work release. And I'm going to add 30 days to your jail sentence. Also, because she didn't show up last week, the judge denied any chance of an early release on her 11-month sentence for second-degree child abuse. Johnson and her husband were asleep June 3rd when her children, ages 2 and 3, wandered out of the house. Her 2-year-old daughter, Monica, fell in a neighbor's pool and died the next day. Johnson made a heartfelt apology before leaving the court. I just want to apologize to my other kids for having to lose their sibling, for me not being a good parent. It's not fair to them to have to suffer. Okay, fare thee well and good luck. Now the judge also ordered her to undergo a complete psychological evaluation and take parenting classes while she's in jail. Hopefully she and her husband will come out better for that on the other end. Her, her husband James was, he pleaded last Friday and will be to manslaughter and two counts of child abuse. He'll be sentenced later this month. Reporting live tonight, downtown at the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice, Jason Colt of Local 4. Jason, we saw her make that emotional apology to her other children. Do we know who's watching those kids while uh, both parents are in jail? It's her mom. Actually, where, as she was walking out there, her mother was in court, and she the last thing she said was, I love you, Mom, and her mother will be taking care of those kids uh, while both of them are in jail. So long way to go. Hopefully they're better for it on the way out. Okay, Jason, thanks.